At school, we learn how to add, subtract, and multiply. But I'm here to meet a man whose brain has developed a mathematical power beyond everyone else on Earth. I've come to witness Scott Flansberg's claim that he is faster than a calculator. Scott tours the world on a mission to inspire kids about math. I do everything. Uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, square roots, cube roots, perpetual calendars, algorithms, whatever I can do to show students that calculators can't beat my brain. Multiplication. Please give me two two-digit numbers, and we'll multiply them together. 95. Times? 85. 8,075. Yeah. <laughs> Amazingly, Scott's getting the answers before I've even typed in the numbers. 43. 43 times? 99. 4257. Oh. All right, let's go. He beats the calculator right. every time. Yeah. You guys go enjoy recess, all right? Nice meeting all of you. Nice Scott's you math today. skills might impress grade school kids, but I need to find out more about his mental superpower. How does he compare to real mathematicians? I'm taking him to the San Diego State University math department. Can four mathematicians this? armed with calculators and a computer compete with Scott's amazing ability? We'll start with the multiplication of two two-digit numbers. Ready? The numbers are 39 times 78. 302, 3042. 3042. 3042 is correct. Scott got it first. <laughs> mm -hmm. Scott's speed is baffling everyone in the room. As the challenges get harder, Scott is actually getting faster. Okay, starting with a base of zero and adding 10 times. The number is 48. 96, 144, 192, 202, 888, 313, 364, 324, 380. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So, how do you guys feel getting beat? Humbled. Humbled. What do you think of Scott? Do you think he's really a human calculator? I'd say yes. Definitely. I think uh, it is a particularly rare phenomenon that we're viewing here. There probably aren't more than a half dozen people in the world who have the capacities that Scott does. Like me, Scott Flansberg looks just like a regular guy. But underneath, we possess rare genetic gifts. The human calculator is totally superhuman in my book.